Hello guys, welcome to Inspired to DIY. In today's video, I'd like to share how I was able to use a hula hoop to create a wall clock. Stay tuned for the end result and let's get started. This is the clock that I'll be using as well as some hula hoops. I went and cut the hula hoop to size and also removed the wrapper. Next, I'll make sure that the connector are glued together. because I'll need the handles as well as the battery pack. I'll go ahead and paint the handles and the hula hoops with this metallic gold paint. Next, I cut the size a piece of foam board as well as poster board and I'll go ahead and glue them together. something that is a rectangular shape to the size that I need and go ahead and trace it on the board so I can cut it down the line. To have a more precise cut, I went on and used my ruler. I'll go ahead and use this beautiful gold tape. of a poster board and then I'll go ahead and cover them using this gold contact paper. Next, I'll go ahead and simply use my hot glue to go ahead and glue it down on the previous piece. of the clock will go I'll use this piece to chase the size of poster board that I'll later on cover with this same gold contact paper Mm -hmm. 
Next, I simply mark the circle in the middle and I'll go ahead and put a hole there. Using that hole, I'll go ahead and just insert the pieces to the clock. the clock part to the previous piece I went on and created some risers that I'll go ahead and glue to the back of the clock and I'll just put both of the pieces together glass as well as my cut to go ahead and put all around the marble side. I'll be using those mini glass jars that I'll go ahead and insert some gold beads inside instead of spray painting them so I can keep both of the hula hoops together. To know where to position the mini glass, I'll go ahead and mark both of the hula hoops. that liquid cement as well as our glue I'll go ahead and position the glass on the first hula hoop and later on at the second hula hoop at the top.
on and allow it to dry just for a few minutes before I went on and add both of the pieces together. an excessive amount of cement as well as hot glue so I can go ahead and put the clock part to the hula hoop. This is the final piece and it turned out so beautiful. I am in love with it. I hope you guys share the same opinion. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. If you have not, go ahead, subscribe to my channel, turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any of my next amazing projects. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.